This video is about how a shared service facility can help small-scale fish processors improve their business. Such facilities are usually expensive and not easily available to small-scale producers. In this video, we will present an example of a facility built by the government of the Philippines, supported by the Korea International Cooperation Agency. It is a processing facility which is available to small-scale processors for a fee. It follows international standards of fish processing, so it helps small-scale processors to distribute their products locally and to export their products as well. We need to bring our bangus into the international market. So to bring it there, we need it to be um, vacuum pack, it should be uh, process and this could also help the small entrepreneurs if they want to sell the bangus locally would be in the different cities in our country. Aside from assisting in the bringing of processed milkfish, locally known as bangus products, to the local and international market, the KPSPC also employs skilled workers directly. The Korea Philippines Seafood Processing Complex was built to generate jobs and income for the poor but skilled deboners and upgrade the milkfish processing and trading industries in the Gupan City and the province of Pangasinan. Through its tall processing services, the KPSPC allowed small-scale fish processors access to a processing facility that follows international standards such as good manufacturing practices or GMP, Sanitation Standard Operating Procedures or SSOP, and Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points or HACCP without themselves having to invest individually. GMP is a system for making sure that all products produced have the same good quality. SSOP are recorded steps for cleaning equipment or the area used for food production or the steps for things like waste disposal. And HACCP is a management system that makes sure food is safe by carefully checking and controlling any dangers to the raw materials in all the stages of handling and processing. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, makes sure that the KPSPC regularly meets these international standards. KPSPC management needs to regularly renew its certifications. It is important that they practice international standards consistently no matter the circumstances. And we have seen that even during the pandemic, they did not disregard the standard practices. These international standards are applied in all parts of the facility and all aspects of the processing operations. The entire plant operations are currently managed by personnel from the BFAR. As chief of the BFAR National Fisheries Development Center, I am also the plant manager. My second in command is the head of the post harvest unit. Under her are the regular personnel of the facility. We have people in charge of quality assurance, quality control, bookkeeping, and plant maintenance. The plant manager approves all processing service requests from small-scale processors and enters into a contract with them. The head of post-harvest then prepares the production and delivery schedules. Workers are also informed of the available work and deadline. Currently, we have, Currently, we have three small-scale processors. We have two exporters and one local distributor. They benefit from us because the fees are low and we offer them technical assistance. Though the processors are not always at the facility, I update them from time to time on the progress of the processing service they requested. They would come when it is time to pick up their products, and that is when I would personally talk to them. We also include them in our GMP and SSOP trainings so that our small-scale processors and the KPSPC staff would have a stronger relationship. The raw materials and packaging supplies are provided by the small-scale processors and delivered to the facility on a scheduled date. 
Malaking impact si KPSPC. KPSPC has a big impact on Jan Versal because we rely on them for toll processing. KPSPC has met the international standards because they are accredited yearly by the FDA for export and tolling. These accreditations are what we show to the US so that we could export our products. We also encourage other businesses to get their products processed at KPSPC because of their good quality services. They also produce good outputs and pass international standards. We, choose, uh, we chose KPSPC because of the sanitary protocols and the volume of processed fees that they can produce in a day. We can make as much as 7,000 pieces of boneless milk fish per day and sometimes more. We started processing our fish in KPSPC more than 10 years ago. Because of them, we are confident with the quality and cleanliness of the food because food safety is important for our customers. Small-scale processors are also in charge of paying the workers. For splitting and gutting the fish, workers are paid from 0.018 to 0.036 cents of a US dollar for every fish that weighs from 200 to 300 or more grams. For deboning the fish, workers are paid 0.049 cents of a US dollar for every fish regardless of weight. Workers are able to earn 9 to 14 US dollars per day during the lean season and 15 to 18 US dollars a day during peak season. In choosing our workers, we go to the nearby communities and see who among them have no jobs or have low income, especially those with families. We give them free training on how to process fish. KPSPC usually operates on a single shift, but can operate double if the need arises. As of the moment, the facility provides employment to 87 deboners, washers, splitters, and overall support workers. These workers live in various places inside the city. They are called to the facility only when there are orders from small-scale processors. Before I worked at KPSPC, I was a housewife. I like working here because my station is comfortable and the facility is near our house. It's clean. There is air conditioning. The area is spacious. My income as a worker at KPSPC has been a big help. I earned about 267 to 357 US dollars a month. My income here goes to my family, our daily needs, and my children's education. The facility is capable of making 2.5 to 5 tons of processed milkfish a day. As of the moment, they operate about 90 days in a year. They hope to extend operations to 200 days per year by entering into a co-management with the local government. Since it was established in 2008, it has provided livelihood for our workers. Our small-scale processors have also been able to provide livelihood for their workers. Even the milkfish farms are assured that there is a demand for their products. So, this facility has made sure that there is movement of products from the farms to the consumers. To recap, a shared service facility such as the KPSPC is important for small-scale fish processors because it helps them produce high-quality products that pass international standards without having to build an expensive facility themselves. It is also equally important for the skilled fish processing workers who rely on the facility to connect them to small-scale processors. The income that they get from processing helps them in their daily needs. In general, such a facility supports the development of small-scale fisheries by providing a good site where people can earn a living through fish processing. <laughs>